we are. Oh boy. Great, now we gotta deal with strogified marines. That's just awesome. And with that, hey everybody, welcome back to Quake 4. I'm your host, Willie B. Coyote, and in the last video, I took a note from Mike Burnfire and ranted about Fallout 4's god-awful gun designs. Here's an instant replay. Ah, you're killing me, Smalls. Before we continue our quest to curb stomp the Strog, let's get the self-promotion done right out of the gate. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Also, make sure to hit the notification icon so you never miss an upload. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Boosh, boosh, and now I've got the rail gun. Pretty much one shots all, all these strogified marines if I can uh, actually hit them because I can't aim for shit because I'm a noob who has skill issues. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Let's see how well the rail gun does here. Uh, so the rail gun in Quake 4 is a very much a ranged weapon. It's basically your sniper rifle. Um, it uh doesn't have a whole lot of amp there's the ammo for it is pretty scarce so you got to be careful with how you use it um yeah uh but it's a really good good powerful weapon so uh so in this video we're going to continue our quest to curb stomp the strog as a uh payback for turning us into a strog well, turning me into a strong that's right, that is, because I'm the one playing the game and not you guys, so, you know. And, uh, we're going to make, as the fat electrician would put it, a proportional response. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Don't get caught near the red barrels. Red barrels, explosive air barrels explode. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Run, 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 duck. Okay, so, uh, if you're wondering where I've been over the last two weeks, I've been on vacation down in Florida, you know, getting some rays of sunshine and relaxing, so I didn't, obviously didn't record or upload any videos in that time, you know, because I was just chilling. I was just chilling. But, uh, but, uh, I had some fun down in Florida. It was fun. I've got a love-hate relationship with Florida, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because, uh, one, you know, it's a beautiful state, you know, weather's really good, beaches are fun, you got Disney World, you know. Like, what's not to like about Florida? Well, there is one thing to not like about Florida, it's their state government. It's basically the flip side of the coin, coin from California, basically. And, like, I know I don't usually delve into political topics here, but, you know, like, like... <sighs> Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna go into that. I'm a gaming chant. I'm a gaming YouTuber, not a political YouTuber. If you want good political takes, go watch Destiny instead. You know? Going down. Okay, through here. Kill this guy. So yeah, uh, in the last video, I ranted about uh, Fallout 4's terrible weapon designs and how I fixed it by adding a whole bunch of weapon mods that add in guns that are canon in Fallout lore and aren't terrible looking because, you know, they're real guns. You know, stuff like the FNFAL, the M60, um, and so on. And uh, since, since the last video, uh, they actually dropped the full trailer for the Amazon Fallout show, and I have to say it actually looks pretty good. You know, I'm still going to reserve my final judgment for when I actually see the show for myself. You know, uh, but, uh, you know, because I like to generally try to see stuff for myself and form my own opinion. You know, before I, uh... Instead of just regurgitating stuff. Like, I used to be one of those people who just watched a YouTube video from some cringe lord or whatever and just model my opinions off to them but then I just said okay this is kind of ridiculous and cringe basically so I'm gonna just form my own opinions for once you know and if I'm not interested I'm not even gonna bother you know because I'm not interested come on come around the corner come around the corner cheeky bastard 
Oh yeah, there you are. Skidish. And boom shaka laka laka boom shaka laka laka boom shaka laka laka boom. This is my boomstick. I'm gonna pull out the rocket launcher and get proportional. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's proportional. If you're wondering where that joke comes from, it comes from uh, the Fat Electrician's video on Operation Praying Mantis. Get the rocket launcher here. Thank you. So, uh, Operation Praying Mantis was this uh, big naval operation that happened back in the 80s where the U.S. Navy was uh, tasked to uh, protect uh, Kuwaiti oil tankers from, Ar from the Iranian Navy. And... Uh, the Iranian Navy was basically had committed the cardinal sin of raising gas prices, and they ended up detonating a a, a, a water mine on a U.S. Navy ship. To which uh, the pre the Reagan administration declared they were going to make a proportional response. That's proportional. And when the U.S. Navy heard the word proportional, what they actually heard was. Yeah, yeah, the uh, U.S. Navy are notorious for their f d philosophy of if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, you know? So uh, they ended up destroying, like, half of Iran's entire Navy in the span of, like, eight hours. Yeah, it was, uh... Yeah, it was quite a... Is that a giant heart? Is that a giant heart? Yes, that is a giant heart. I have several questions. That's That's got to be some kind of OSHA violation. Like, I honestly, I really think someone should take the strong to court over this. Okay. Huh. Voltage control. I wonder what this button does. Uh. Ooh, that sounds painful. Let's go over here. And, uh, there's another voltage control. I wonder what this button does. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. That ought to shut it down. Just kill all the things that come out of here. Down we go. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm so used to control being the crouch button that I just keep wasting ammo. And into the next level. Three days later. And here we are. You know, video game loading screens I found are a lot like uh, waiting for your gas tank to fill up at the station. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, not that poor guy. Oh, someone needs help. Help me! I'm down here! Let's, let's get you out of here, buddy. Hey, you're Matthew Kane. The one and only? I about you. The Strog attacked my squad. I was the only survivor. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Let me adjust your nail gun. Yeah, here, give me that sweet nail gun upgrade. Now you can use the site to zoom in on your targets All right. and, track them. and give me an armor refill while you're at it. Thank you. That's it. I'm done. I'm good to go. Uh, let's heal up here. See if we can find any animal ammo. Search all the nooks and crannies. That's what she said. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, I will keep using that joke in probably every single video because it's funny uh, this way hey okay. what do we have here take a look at it uh, it looks like there's a passage out of this area right above us but the only way we're gonna reach it is by stacking some of these barrels up and climbing over them 
barrels. The storage system should set the barrels up for us. Right. Why don't you find a way to activate it, and I'll stay here and monitor you. Yeah, you'll stay here and monitor it. I'm sure definitely nothing terrible will happen to you while I'm off going and do this. Sure. Totally. Definitely not. He is going to be perfectly fine, and it's all going to be sunshine and rainbows, and we're all going to live happily ever after. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. Really, what kind of data? <clears throat> Go away, Berserker. Thank you. Oh, someone sounds like they're in pain. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. We got you. Halt trial. Shut down. Shut down. Come on. Shut down. Oh no! Looks like we were too late. Dang it! But anyways, now we got the lightning gun, which is uh, another really powerful weapon. Um, let's put it to the test here. Ho ho ho! Oh, I like this thing. But, you know, like with the rail gun, the lightning gun ammo can't be really, really scarce, so I'm gonna use that sparingly. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Check for supplies. Let's use the hyper blaster for a little bit. And here we go. Activate barrel process. Okay. Looks like you're going to have to restart the barrel sterilization process in order to get that conveyor online. Okay. See if you can find the sterilization controls. They must be located deeper in the facility. Copy that. Let's go try and find the barrel sterilization controls. This door will unlock and we'll go through. Incoming! Look. Uh, reload my machine gun because I picked up ammo there. Switch back to the hyper blaster and continue on. Onwards and upwards. Um, big advantage of uh, the Strog upgrades that you get in the in the story mode of Quake 4 is the fact that, you know, because you move around a lot faster now, uh, it's a lot easier to jo dodge incoming attacks, so, you know, because it basically it turns it into more of a boomer shooter than a Halo killer, which is what the game started off as at the beginning. Okay, through here. You're in the sterilization control room. There should be a way to turn on the system. Okay, um... System reset. Let's try that. Shit, it's locked up. Hold on. Let me try something. Check through all my weapons for ammo. Hey, you did it! The sterilization system is online. There we go. That's awesome. Now let's head back the way we came. Working. Get back here on the double. Already on my way. Oh what now? <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Did you just make me go deaf for a second there? Ow. It's a uh, railgun. Has that guy got a flamethrower too? Ow. Reloading. Thankfully, he's dead now. That's awesome. Here. Hey, don't go dying on me. I need you to get out of here. I'm I'm gonna say the same thing to you, buddy. Don't go dying on me. I'll be fine. We're more worried about you. You're by yourself and you didn't have a gun last time I checked, so. Reload.
here. Um, let's definitely heal up. That's definitely a good idea. You always take time to heal up when you're playing Quake 4. That's uh, an important note. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh, and better yet, I better uh, take a second to quick save. <laughs> Always take time to quick save when you're playing these games, uh, because there is quite a bit of distance between, uh, checkpoints. So, uh, yeah, you don't want to start all over at the beginning of the level because of your own incompetence, do you? The more you know. Incoming! Hello? Aw, oh, man, dude, I warned you, didn't I? I totally called it. I totally called it. He was going to get dragged off. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Well, been nice knowing you, buddy. Let's go do this now. Okay, so, uh... Push that out... Goes into position, drop barrels on. And bring the barrels back. Up here. Gotta just climb up here. Jump and jump and voila! Onwards! Die, 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 die! Thank you. And onward to the next level. Down we go. Onto a conveyor belt, as it seems. Six and a half hours later. I'm never really sure how many memes I'm going to be able to squeeze in on videos like this when I'm in the moment recording, but usually it ends up being a lot more than you might expect. Um, what's happening? Okay, that looks ominous. I uh, shut off my flashlight so I don't draw attention to myself. Careful. I'm gonna head back this way. See if I can't get those supplies I saw over there. Make sure, always make sure you check every nook and cranny. That's what she said. <laughs> I love using that meme from the office whenever I say that's what she said, you know? It's just, it's just fun to use. Oh boy. Gosh, it's like I'm going through the uh, tunnel from Mystery Science Theater 3000 with this thing. All right. Is there anything I can control here? Nope, nothing there. Up. Up. She's like going through a maze. Ah! I'm allergic to saw blades. No, thank you. Ah, uh, here we are. Ammo cache. And uh, let's try the nail gun for a little bit. No wait. Yeah, not a lot of ammo for that. Okay, be careful. And up, oh, up! Oh, almost fell to my death there. A research team should be studying this facility. Somehow, the strong able to break the strain down into pure enzymes. Huh. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh, four. I mean five. I mean fire. I'm allergic to flamethrowers. Nope. No, thank you. Okay. Run. Get you here. And up here, I think. No, up here. And up here. And, uh, over 
here. Game saved. Jump. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. Let's uh, double check for any weapons and ammo. Switch to a weapon that has got ammo. And onwards. Loading. Was that the combine? That sounded like the combine. I'm I'm probably gonna do a let's play of Half Life, of the Half Life series in the near future. I've got all the Half Life games. You know, I've got Half Life One, Half Life Two, and Episode One and Two. And I'm probably gonna do a a playthrough of those on after this as like a whole series where I run through the whole Half Life series. I've played through Half Life Two. I have not played through Half-Life 1 yet, I have not played through Half-Life Episode 1 and 2. So, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be a fun little saga for this channel, of me going through the entire Half-Life series. More or less completely blind, bar Half-Life 2. Oh, man! Good God, is that frickin' what's his name? Is that James Corden? That looks like James Corden. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this or not, but I, I, I fucking hate James Corden. <laughs> that dude is like one of the most painfully unfunny hacks in the history of Hollywood. Like most late night talk show hosts are. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to deal with this guy. Let's try not to draw attention to myself. Ow! Ow! I am about to die, and oh. Oh, that's, uh, looking painful. You all right, James Gordon? Ah, ah, ow! Great, I just had a skill issue. And I'm back where I started now, so I'm going to have to skip over this last bit with the power of editing. So as I snap my fingers... Two thousand years later. Let me just take a second from the, uh, skipping forward in the editing to just let... To just point out how gross this all is. Like, come on, Strong. I know you've got a thing for Lovecrafty and bio biomechanical abominations, but this is just ridiculous. And here we are back in uh, James Corden's room. Right, so uh, hopefully this time around I'm not going to get completely curb stomped by the most painfully unfunny comedian in all of Hollywood. Run for it, run for it, run, run, run! Ow! Ow! Frick, I'm probably going to die again, aren't I? And here we go. Take cover for a second. And I made it. Yay. Better save real quick. I'm not going to restart at the beginning of that again. Please give me some health to work with. Please give, tell me there's some health back here. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. That's poor. Feel sorry for this poor sap. Okay. Up we go. Check for more health, thank you. That's helpful. Let's uh, get my flashlight out. One of my only two flashlight guns here. Uh, running again, running again, run, run, run. Here we go. Nice try, dude. Take it, take it, take it, come on. There you go. And uh, I just killed James Corden! Yay! What did he say? And there's a way down. Awesome. Enzyme distribution failure. Transport systems deactivated. Okay. 
Let's uh, find our way down. Ow. Okay. Jump up. Down we come. Let's uh, search around here for health and gear. Oh, nope. Ah, oh, oh, that's just great. Thanks a lot. Okay, and we're back where we started, so I'm going to carefully make my way down and hopefully not get killed by that one strogified marine there. Uh, again. For like the third or fourth time. No, you don't! Thank you. And now we got health and ammo. And onward we go. Up. Kill these guys. Kill those guys. Yeah, I don't want to stay in one place for too long. Jump through here. And, uh... Continue on making a proportional response. Yeah, that's right. This is proportional, suckers. Rockets. Yeah. Never use a rocket launcher in close quarters combat, kids. It'll... It's very dangerous. I'm a trained professional. You sure about that? And uh, here we are at the exit. And uh, I think that's good a spot as any to end the video for today. Little might be a little shorter than usual, but I think it's just long enough. Uh, I'm glad to be back after my uh, two week break. Uh, you can expect more weekly videos to be coming out soon. And uh, uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Leave, hit the notification icon on your way out. I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!